Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop tutorial. So in today's video, we will learn how to create a handy script that generates cart rows with promotional codes in bulk. So instead of having to make them up one by one, which can be a really cumbersome process, especially if you need a hundred of them. So let's get to it. First off, I will create a new file in my editor and I will save it in the PrestaShop root, calling it create discount.php okay so open PHP tags and now as with every external script we want to embed into press the shop we must include the config and init files so let's do it include their name underscore underscore file dot slash config dot ink dot php oops and I'll copy this and I will change it to ah uh, sorry it's config the folder is config and the other is init dot php great say now we need something to play with namely an array and we'll create one holding all of the promo codes first and then we will loop through it and generate one new cart row for each so I have some codes already but of course you can make your own I'll just copy and paste my array good now let's loop through them so for each codes as code and before creating any new cart rule, we have to make sure there is no other um, rule using the same code. So PrestaShop has a, a nice little function for it. Let's use it. It's if cart rule cart rule exists, and we'll pass in the code. So if we have one with the same code. We will echo out something like code space dash code dot another string already exists. Skipping. And then we'll just use a line break and continue. Okay? Now for the real thing, let's instantiate a new cart rule object and give it some parameters. Uh, here is where you can set up the rules uh, and uh, the options for the rule. So I will create a new cart rule obj equals new cart rule and then I'll grab this variable and set date from equals uh, let's say today so date so it's y M D H I S. Then the date two, date two. Uh, well, let's write something. Actually, I have it here. So it's really far away, just for demonstrational purposes. So twenty four uh, forty six. Then let's give this cart rule. A name so cart rule obj name and name is an array that's um, that depends on the language so I will use configuration get and I'll get ps lang default equals uh, no, discount code so I'm getting uh, the default language every time here in the array uh, in the loop uh, just to be quick to um, in writing it but the best way would be to grab that before the loop and assigning it to a, var a variable that we can use later or even hard code your language ID if you want then I will go ahead and copy the rest and explain it as I go so car rule object quantity the total quantity available for this rule the code is obviously our code and the quantity per user is one for now of course you can customize this um, these options at your heart's content then reduction percent is zero reduction amount is 20 of your uh, of our currency um, maybe I will change it let's say 20 percent okay for shipping no active one and this must be one and then the minimum amount 
for the cart rule to, to be valid is zero. Of course, in the end, we add it. And we also want some feedback. So echo done with code, another line break, I guess. Okay, so we're all set. At the very end of the script, after the loop, we can also kill the script, all done. Okay, just in case. So let's test it out. It's named create discount.php. So create discount.php. All right, uh, it's saying it already, uh, th these rules already exist because I created them a while ago in my uh, test. So let me just access the back office and erase them so we can see if they work. So uh, price rules, cart rules, I'll just erase them all. So delete selected, okay, refresh, great. And then refresh again, already exists. Good. Okay, so we're done. Make sure you remove this script once you're done, otherwise people will be able to trigger it and consume resources depending on how big your uh, array with the code is, with the codes is. So um, this is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.